Hey guys, it's Jailbreakist. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone using the new release of Red Snow 9. Red Snow 9 will support the iPhone, the iPhone 3G, um, 3GS, um, the iPod Touch 1 and 2G, um, the iPod Touch 3G, it may work, the MC version, but it will be tethered, as well as the iPhone 3GS with the new boot ROM, that will be tethered if it works for you guys. So the first thing you guys are going to need to do is you're going to need to download Red Snow. I'll have it for you guys in the description. And Red Snow will also give you boot logos, just so that you guys know, custom boot logos. Hooray! And then you guys are going to need to download the 3.1.2 firmware. I'll also have one for you guys. And once you've downloaded that, you might want to get together your custom boot logos if you plan on putting some on your device. If you do not plan to, do not bother. Um, I'll also have a link for you guys um, for getting custom boot logos. And once you've made your decision whether you want them or not, just you're going to open up Red Snow. Okay, then you're just going to open up the Red Snow file. Okay, and in the Red Snow application, it's going to ask you to look for your IPSW, the 3.1.2 firmware restore. So you're going to click on the Browse button, and in the bunch of files that come up, you're going to scroll down until you find your 3.1.2 firmware. And it will start to process, and, and then it will recognize... Should only take like like less than 30 seconds. Okay, and once it's recognized your 3.1.2 firmware, it's going to give you a message saying that it's going to ask you if it's an MC model iPod Touch um, and an MC model iPhone. Since I don't have an iPhone, it won't work or it won't ask me that. But for iPhone users, it will ask you that and it will ask for the iPod Touch 2G users. And it will give you a warning that you cannot use custom boot logos since this is a tethered jailbreak for um, the MC models. So you must answer honestly. If you do not, you might have to restore on iTunes. And once you click yes or no, um, then you can click next. And it's going to start to connect to the server and really load Red Snow. Okay, and once it's done loading and processing and everything, it'll give you a menu, um, and here's where you guys can select your custom boot logos, and you're gonna, if you aren't already jailbroken, you're gonna click install Cydia. Um, Verbose boot, um, that is, um, a feature if you are, like, already jailbroken, and you don't want to lose all your apps, you're gonna click that. Um... And here's where you can select your custom boot logos. So if you'd like one, you're going to click the box there. And it's going to ask you to find your custom boot logos. So find them. Make sure they're PNG and they're 320 by 480. And they go by the proper format. So there's mine. And I want a custom recovery logo. Um, you can also get custom recovery logos off the website I have given you guys. Okay, and once you've made your decision whether you want those or not, um, you can click next. But if you're already jailbroken and you just want to change your boot logo, you can click already pruned and it will just create your firmware for you guys and it will automatically change your boot logo. But today we're just going to, I'm just going to show you guys how to jailbreak and not just to change your boot logo. So now you guys are going to click next. And now it's time to put your device into recovery mode. So make sure you plug your device into your computer. And what you guys are going to need to do for this is you're going to make sure you turn off your device. So hold the power button and you're going to slide for power off. <coughs> okay, once it's off you guys, what you guys are going to need to do now is you are going to hold both the power and the home button until the red snow message um, goes away, like the screen will change. So hold those two together, 
It might be a little while until something happens. And just keep in mind, this is not DFU mode. This is recovery mode. So, just keep holding it. And you may not get it. Like, it may not recognize it for the first time. So you might have to try numerous times until this works. But, it's worth it, guys. Just be patient. Just keep holding it and keep being patient. And hopefully it should work the first time if you're lucky. Okay. Okay, now mine has successfully recognized it. And now it'll start to download the jailbreak data. Um and this will only happen if yours um, worked, um, like if it successfully recognized it the first time. But be persistent, guys. If it doesn't work the first time, keep on trying. And, yeah. So now mine's waiting just for a reboot. And now it's really just a process of waiting. Okay, it's uploading the exploit. And now it's updating the boot logo. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, mine has just finished um, downloading the jailbreak data. But do not unplug your device yet. And you can click finish in red snow if you guys want. Um, but do not unplug your iPod or iPhone at this stage. Because if you look on your iPod or iPhone, your device, you will see um, either kind of an install image or a jogging pineapple um, and it will still be downloading to jailbreak data so do not unplug it just leave it plugged in until it finishes so right now mine is flashing the NOR and yours might take a little um, while installing bundles and looks like it's just about done yep rebooting um, and as you guys can see there's my custom boot logo that I selected and if you see that that pretty much ensures that you just successfully jailbroke it In two seconds, guys, we'll see Cydia. So, congratulations, guys. You just jailbroke your iPod Touch or iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. We hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Um, so, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.